Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tally Sam here. I hope you guys have been doing great. Um, if you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been um, a bit, it's been a while. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about um, what you should and what you should not bring um, when coming to Korea. Uh, I think this video is really important for like people who are prepping to come and also maybe if you're if you're already here you'll be like yeah maybe I shouldn't have brought that or oh I should have brought that so we can kind of talk about that and see what is good to bring what is not good to bring okay so let's get into it so um, when I thought about this topic the first thing that came to my mind is shoes bring your shoes um, I know it sounds a bit weird it's like bring your shoes yeah because like Korea uh, most I'll say most most apartments have like a shoe cabinet and the shoe cabinet is really long and like quite tall and long it can be tall like quite like a lot of um, shelves that you that are in the cabinet or it could be like a small one but still there's a lot of storage for shoes so I feel like um, bringing your shoes is a must because also because of sizes because there's um, us from the west are quite tall so we might we're quite tall so we might have bigger feet than Korean people might we do so um, yeah I definitely recommend um, bringing your shoes because sometimes you might not find shoes in your size here um, and I say might because there are there are our sizes but maybe let's say for like women's shoes let's say you want some sandals and you go to a shop and they're selling sandals but they might not have your your size depending on your shoe size so I'm 260 in Korea which is um, in UK size is size 6 so in my size if I want to go to like to get some sandals or um, or even sometimes trainers maybe um, that are for women maybe then I would maybe have to tap into the man's side so I would recommend definitely bringing your own shoes um, as there's a lot of storage already so yeah you might as well um, we might have to pay a bit extra on your luggage but it's worth it you know um, another thing number two that I would recommend that you bring is your hair products so I'm talking for all the um, girlies the black girlies <laughs> um, because as you know like here we don't really have that much full access to our hair products so there is a place in near Gyeonggi-do or in Gyeonggi-do called Pyeongtaek um, they do have like hair products um, that a shop that has all the hair products that we need so, but that's like a little bit of a trek to go to like all the time but also on Kupan which is Korea's um, like Amazon they have like some products so I use like sheer moisture and also they have like um, is it like Dr. Miracle I think it's called they got that as well and that's some other products as well so maybe before you come you can just like I don't know if you can access coupon outside of the country but if you can like you can just search to see if your products would be on there but yeah they do have a few some products but Maybe if you want to bring like extensions and that kind of stuff, I would recommend um, bringing your own, like bringing your own in bulk or you could go to Pyeongtaek and maybe in Itaewon, I'm not 100% sure. So Itaewon is like the, I would say, I call it the foreigner central. It's where many foreigners live because it's like a little area in Seoul where like many foreigners live and it's filled with loads of like foreign restaurants and stuff. So maybe that you could also find um like you could find some products and also headdresses so actually in korea they are headdresses so you don't have to worry too much but also but the prices for getting your head on is quite a bit pricey compared to maybe what you'd get back home so i would recommend um if you know how to do your own hair <laughs> then you are then you are safe but either way you can still um, there are a few hairdressers like in Busan, there's hairdressers, Daegu, um, Gwangju, in Pyeongtaek, um, in Seoul as well. So in Taiwan, definitely there's a few um, there as well. And in Gyeonggi-do, there are a few um, that I know of anyway. So I, re I, yeah, getting your hair is, is possible to get your hair. You don't have to worry about that if you can't do it like me. <laughs> so you can get your hair done. Um, so yeah, number three. I will talk about 
uh, the next thing I'll talk about is about foundation, um, especially if again if you're a darker complexion like me um, it's hard to find foundation for our skin type um, but the good thing actually was that we had it so Sephora is actually in Korea and they provided like Fenty Beauty and stuff but then actually just like this is May right like at the start of May they literally stopped so now Sephora is gone and Fenty Beauty is gone so you can't get foundation in your own shade now which sucks um, and it's so annoying because it's like I found out about them quite recently Sephora so I think like actually not recently let's say September last year but when I came here I came with like a bulk of my own like shade of foundation so I had something to kind of give off them it started like running out so I was like oh I need something then I found out oh Sephora is here and then I was like oh we're safe and then next thing you know actually we're leaving <laughs> because of like you know Olive Young which is like um, Korea's beauty store where you can get so much things at a good price I guess they had a bit of a competition so they had to get it out <laughs> but yeah um but I'm sure you can like order it from abroad but obviously you probably have to pay for shipping and all that stuff so definitely bring a bulk a bulk a bulk of your foundation <laughs> um if for fairer skin i'm sure that you would um you can find maybe with you'll be fine with the korean one maybe but if you have a favorite if you have a brand that you really like and that you prefer and that is not in korea i definitely recommend for you as well to bring it bring foundation in bulk okay so um and um, number four, so let's move on to the don'ts. I like, don't bring this. Um, one thing is deodorant. Mm, deodorant, yeah. Um, so you don't have to really bring deodorant, um, I believe. So actually, when I came, I came with a lot of deodorant. Um, I like to use Sanix, so I came with a lot of it. But actually, in Korea, they don't really have a lot of deodorant because Koreans don't really need it because um, they have this like special gene where um they don't smell basically so they're so lucky they don't actually need it um but there are like shops like olive young for example does sell deodorant but um i'm not sure i haven't tried that brand yet i think it's like i think it is dove or something or something that we know like nivea or something but i haven't tried buying from them because i just kind of went with what i knew um so i would say you don't have to bring deodorant um as you can find it on coupon because actually when i looked on coupon i was like oh i can f i can literally um get it on coupon and i told my parents they came like last year bring me so much deodorant and then they brought <laughs> I mean, it probably sound like i smell but <laughs> i'm just saying like you know it's a thing that we it's like a everyday thing that we apply right but it was so funny because i told them to bring me a lot of it and then like um but actually later i checked on coupon and you can get it on there so it's like you don't have to stock up on that too much um, another thing number five is maybe you don't need to bring this is a bit of a but you don't have to bring the foods from back home for, so for me like my go-to my the thing that I live off literally is tea um, I love tea so um, actually I realized that on coupon they have like um, Earl Grey and they also have um the Roy Boss vanilla that I like so I was like oh it's everything's on there and then my friends came as well I told them to bring a lot of it um but actually I didn't need it because it's on coupon coupon has a lot of stuff on there and the good thing about coupon is like you can literally just search in English and it'll pop up but you don't have to actually type in Korean so yeah coupon has a, a bit of, a, a, quite a bit of the things that we need but obviously for like specific foods um um, like they probably won't have it or you could find it on coupon but you might have to pay a big amount of money because it's literally being imported into the country um, but I'll check on coupon first before anything for me it was tea because tea is literally what I live off so having that on there I'm great I'm good <laughs> um, number six is it's kind of like you don't have to bring but you should bring it's up to you it's kind of like a up to you kind of thing um it's clothes <laughs> it's like well okay but yeah clothes are kind of like um the sizes because as you maybe some people have heard or you've seen the videos um finding your size is not always guaranteed it is possible to find like clothes your size that fit you definitely um 
but it's not like back at, back at home where you know for 100% this shop, this shop, all these shops are going to have my size. So I would definitely um, bring clothes that you really like, the clothes that you really like and that kind of thing. But also thanks to apps like um, Shane and also like Cider, um, online shops, you can literally like shop for stuff online and um, get it delivered to you as well if you have a PCCC which is like a personal customs clearance code kind of thing I think that's what, it's, what it means so when you get that then you'll be able to basically get things delivered to you in the country so thanks to places like Shein or Shane for that so you can always shop on those sites and you know that for a fact you will find your size I know it's not the most best quality but it's okay but also they have Zara and they have H&M so those you can definitely find your size in Zara and H&M as well so it's kind of a that's why I said it's like a you can bring your clothes but you don't like obviously you, have to, you should bring your clothes but like you don't have, maybe you don't have to bring so many of them because you can find clothes here that fit you um, even in the Korean stores there are things that would fit you for me it's more the top the top things fit but the bottom it's a bit like harder to fit because of hips and all that <laughs> um so it's a bit harder for me to find clothes that fit like jeans and that kind of thing and fit me in the way that i want them to fit me i'm also someone who's not really um who likes to shop a lot so i like to just just know where i can go get the clothes and get out kind of thing so but i'm sure if, if you're someone who likes to shop and who's quite fashionable then i'm sure like you'll be able to you probably go to many different shops and like kind of see oh this shop works for me this shop doesn't work for me so it's quite of a uh it's up to you kind of thing but yeah um these are the things that i wanted to share with you the things you should and you shouldn't bring i hope that it was helpful and it will be helpful when you're packing um and also if you're in korea and maybe um you didn't know much that maybe you could find this and this um here then hopefully that would also be helpful for you too so i hope um i will see you guys in the next video if you guys have any ideas of what you would like me to um, talk about in my videos or what you would like me to touch upon then please um, comment in the comments and follow me on instagram and tiktok yes i'm on tiktok now <laughs> please follow me and um, dm me um, if you have any questions well i hope to see you guys soon in the next video and for now annyeong